Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and today we have some more Hearthstone and today we're going to be doing something a bit different. We're not going to be continuing our Curse of Nax playthrough for this video. We'll be continuing it with the next video. This one's something a bit different. We are going to be just looking at my sheer lack of willpower and opening 40 packs of cards. Yes, in Hearthstone you can put, you can get cards. You, know, you can buy get a pack of cards for getting 100 gold or you can go to the arena and try and get some gold and get some cards that way. But if you'd like to, you can always just purchase packs of cards, and yeah, that ended up happening. But eh, every few months or so, I like to just buy 40 packs of cards, because you get lots of cool stuff. If you don't get cards you don't already have, you get a bunch of dust that you can use to make cards you don't already have, and it's just fun. Look at that, they're freaking out here. They really want this to happen, so let's do this. Let's get the first pack here. Alright, what do we got? Nothing? 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 Rare, nothing. All right, so we got Repentance for the Paladin, uh, Argent Squire, which I, I have two golden Argent Squires. I've got lucky enough to get two of the gold ones of that, so that's worthless to me. Uh, Worgen, uh, so many poor, which I already have. Sorry, I have all these cards, but this one's a rare. What do we got? A Defender of Argus, which is actually good. Believe it or not, I only had one Defender of Argus before this. Now I can have two. Awesome. What do we got here? Dun, 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 dun. It's like opening packs of cards of like Pokemon cards when you're a kid, except it's online and people get to watch. All right, so nothing. Oh, an epic. That's an epic. A rare. A rare. And a freaking what? Greatest pack ever, dude. Okay, so uh, regular, rare. Okay, regular, rare, rare, epic, legendary. What are we gonna get? Let's get. Let's see the normal card first. An inner rage of the warrior. I'm just gonna be able to disenchant that. Let's check out our rares. We get a Holy Wrath for the Paladin. And an Alarm Robot, which I had two of. Let's see what our epic is. A Sword of Justice, which is great. I only had one of those, and I needed two for my Murloc deck. That is great. What's our legendary? Dun 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 dun. We got Tyrion Ford Ring, which is the legendary for the Paladin, which of course is the deck I'm starting to play around with. That's freaking awesome. So he's got he's got the Vine Shield Taunt, and his Death Rattle equips a 5-3 Ashbringer. That's awesome. That is like that was the best pack ever. Like two rares, an epic, and a legendary? What? In one pack. Usually I get four commons and one rare. Alright. Let's continue this up. Maybe, these, maybe this purple card back is good luck. If it starts to be not good luck, we're going to change the card back, you see. It's all about the luck. So we got a rare, a nothing, nothing, a rare. All right, so we got two rares and three commons. We got a Lou Hoarder, a Silence, and an Unbound Elemental, which I already have all of these. What's this? Uh, Raven Holt Assassin. I think I only had one of those, so that would be two. And a Gadgetson Auctioneer, which I only had one of these, so now I have two. That's perfect. Perfect. Good stuff here. We're, we're getting all kinds of cards to be able to make all kinds of decks to make all kinds of videos for you guys. It's working out. What we got here? Alright. Nothing. Rare. Nothing. Nothing. Alright. This is what my packs usually consist of. A bunch of repeat cards that I already have, like the Harvest Golem and the Rampage and such. And our rare is we're going to get Master Swordsmith, which I already have two of those. So we'll be able to disenchant that. I don't know. That one... I wish every pack was like that one, the legendary and the epic and the two rares. All right, what we got? Nothing. Rare. Nothing. 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 Mm. All right, so these are all cards I've already got, plus another Savannah High Main. I have a golden Savannah High Main, actually. I'm yet to get a gold card. I want to get some more gold cards for my all gold deck. So hopefully we get some of those. What we got here? We got we got to make the thing dance around a little bit, to make it have more good luck. All right, what we got here? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Rare, nothing. Ah, crappy, crappy pack, crappy pack. Although, I like that ringleader card. And a flare, which I already have one of those. What we got now? So far, we're getting kind of unlucky. We're not really getting anything we really need these past couple times. All right, let's see. Epic, all right, all right. We're getting epic, nothing, rare, nothing. Nothing. All right, so three commons, summoning portal, jungle panther, and the South Sea deckhand. Let's see our rare, which is going to be an Aldor Peacekeeper for the Paladin, which I got two of those, so. And an epic. A Doom Hammer for the Shaman. All right, so if I ever want to play with the Shaman, well, then there we go. I've got a Doom Hammer. All right. Shaman's a deck I don't really play around the wall with. And let's see this. 
Rare? Nothing? 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 Nothing. Alright, so four nothings. And the rare. Which is going to be a Cold Light Seer. Which is going to be another Murloc, which we've already got a bunch of those. Let's see what this one... Alright. And that's nothing, 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 nothing in the rare. So summoning portal, Scar Crusader, and Inner Rage, Power of the Wild. And a mind control tech, which I've already got a few of those. So what well, the beauty of it though is if you get like a bunch of like excess rares, like oh I already have two of that rare card, then you disenchant that in the dust, and you can use all that dust to make cards you do want, and you know, it's kinda nice. What we got here? Rare. Nothing. 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 Alright, so we got two rares and three commons this time. We've got uh, Dark Iron Dwarf, a Shadow Step, an Acolyte of Pain. Oh, a golden upgrade for the Warrior. Not too shabby. It's the first golden card of this go. And now we've got a Keeper of the Grove, which is for the Druid, of course, which I don't really use the Druid much. Alright, so we're 10 cards, or 10 packs in. We've only got 30 to go. Let's see, something good, something good, something good. Dun, 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 dun. Nothing, nothing. Oh, an epic and a rare. All right, so three commons. We have an Argent Squire, Harvest Golem, Acolyte of Pain. Let's check out our rare. We're going to get an Ancient Watcher. I have a Golden Ancient Watcher. Not sure when I got that, but I do have it. Let's see our epic. It's going to be a Blood Knight, which apparently is pretty good. Battle Cry. All minions lose. Divine Shield gain plus three, plus three for each shield lost. That could be very useful in a Paladin deck, I would assume. Huh. Actually, that would actually be pretty good also in a Zoo deck, now that I'm thinking about it. Because Zoo has like Argent Squires and the Scarlet Crusaders, and so the Blood Knight could work out pretty well in that. And I've never gotten a Blood Knight before, so that's pretty cool. Alright, so what do we get now? Dun, 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 dun. Gotta, gotta do a little circle around. Gotta do a loopy loop. It's, it's for good luck, you see. Alright. We got rare. A nothing, a nothing, a nothing, and a nothing. Alright, crap pack. Uh, Worgen Infiltrator, Venture Co. Mercenary, Battle Rage, Dust Devil, and an Armorsmith, which I've already got one of those, but, you know, I can get rid of that, and then that'll give me some dust, which I can use to maybe make a new Legendary or something like that, or maybe make a Golden Legendary, which costs 3,200 dust, so that's quite a lot. What do we got here? Yeah. Alright, nothing. Alright, that's, uh, rare. Nothing, nothing, rare. Alright, so two rares in this one. We've got Blood Sail Raider, a Naturalize, and Eviscerate. And Equality for the Paladin. And Eagle Horn Bow for the Hunter. Alright. I have a good feeling about this one. Got a good feeling. Let's bring it down here. Look at it. It's glitching out. It's glitching out. We gotta glitch it out a little bit. It's for good luck. Alright. And that's gonna be a rare. And nothing. 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 Ah. At least give me some golden commons, man. What we got here? And another Murloc Tide Caller. I like my Murlocs, though. I'm glad I got that sword earlier. That's going to help out the Murloc deck all the time. The mighty Murloc. Sorry, what we got here? Nothing. Rare. Nothing. Nothing. All right, so nothing's across the board. We got a Wisp and a uh, Shield Bear, Cruel Taskmaster, Inner Rage. She's going to be disenchanted. And an explosive shot, which will also be disenchanted. Goodness gracious. I'm glad the game does it like an automatic disenchanting of extra cards. Or what gives you the option to automatically disenchant all your extra cards. So you have to go in there individually and disenchant them all one by one. Because <laughs> that would take a very long time. Nothing. Rare. Oh, come on. Oh, a golden battle rage for the warrior. This is good. I don't use that in my warrior deck. But it's always good to get gold cards for decks I actually use. And what's our rare? Our rare is going to be an Azur Drake. Very good card, but of course, I already have two of those. So, All right, we're getting down. We've only got 24 more to go after this. We need we need to move this around. Get the dust swirling around. It's for good luck, you see. All right. All right. And we get a rare. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Ah, come on. Four commons. And the Light Warden, which I don't think I had this. This is for all classes. Whenever a character is healed, gain plus two attack. Huh. I guess that would work out rather well in a priest deck, or maybe something that does a lot of healing. Maybe a paladin, actually, too, as well. Huh, I've never actually gotten a light warden. That's pretty cool. Now, what do we've got here? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Nothing? Nothing? 
Epic. All right, we got an epic and nothing. This is probably a rare. Oh, wow. So four commons and an epic. How often does that happen? Usually you get at least one rare. All right, so we got our Direwolf Alpha, Mark Nature, Scholar Crusader, Ice Barrier. And a Murloc War Leader, which I already have those. In fact, I have a golden one, which you guys saw in my Curse and Axe videos. Dun, 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 dun. What do we got here? All right, it looks like we got two rares and three commons. Uh, Dread Corsair. I'm not sure if I had I, the pirates. I don't. I don't have all the pirates. That'd be cool if I did. So I can tinker around with that. We get mind control tech and a master of disguise. This is for the rogue, and I don't think I have it. Give a friendly minion stealth. Huh? Yeah, I definitely don't have the master of disguise. I don't use the rogue though. You guys saw my first game ever with the rogue actually in the Curse of Nax. Um, uh, the Druid, not the Druid, the Rogue Class Challenge for Curse of Nax. That was my first time ever actually using the rogue deck. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of it. I like the other decks. An epic already. So epic, rare. All right, so three commons, a rare, and an epic. So we got a Priestess of Eloon, which restores four health to your hero, which can be pretty helpful. A Silverhand Knight. I like that card a lot. Uh, an Earth Shock for the Shaman. An Ancient Watcher. And our epic is going to be a Patient Assassin for the Rogue. It looks like a Death Knight almost, right? Looks like a looks like a Gnome uh, Death Knight. But uh, stealth and destroy any any minion damaged by this creature. Okay, so it's a two cost card that you put on the field that can be stealth. So usually, unless there's an AOE coming out on the board, it's going to stay alive. Then the very next turn or whenever you want to, really, you can use a patient assassin who's only a one one to destroy anything that you want, really. And uh, that's actually pretty freaking nice. Of course, it's going to die with it, but that's kind of the trade off. That's a really good card. Holy crap! All right, now we are down. We are halfway through the video. We are halfway through our packs. We need we need to glitch it again. We need to glitch it again. See? It's glitching. There. Glitch it some more. Alright. That I can feel the legendary coming. Okay. Alright, so we get four commons and a rare. Alright, so Thalmor, uh or Thralmar, Farseer, a Bow Rage, a Morgan Infiltrator, a Demon Fire. And of course our Violet Teacher, which is a pretty nice card, I guess. I guess it works out for certain decks, but not really much of the decks I run. These purples are starting to let me down. I'm thinking about changing my back. If we don't get another legendary before we get down to 10 packs, I'm changing my card back. And, alright, so Void Terror, which is actually a pretty nice card for the Warlock, can be very nice in a Death Rattle deck, which I'm going, which I have put together. I'm going to be tinkering around with that in some future videos. We got 18 left. If we don't get another legendary between now and our 10th pack, then we're going to switch the card back to a different color. Because purple isn't really helping me out. Although it did give me the best pack of my life. I mean, geez, we haven't really gotten anything since. We get a Mad Bomber, an Eye for an Eye, a Spiteful Smith. And another Defender of Argus. <laughs> I only had one of those before. Now I've gotten two from these pack openings. What we got here? Dun, 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 dun. That's a rare. All right, so four commons and a rare. I hate when we get that. Especially when it's all cards I've already gotten before. And an Ancient Watcher, which we've gotten a couple of those already. Apparently it can't be too rare without much we're getting them. All right, let's get the Magic Dust. See the Magic Dust? This is how we get it right here. And nothing, 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 rare, nothing. Oh, come on. The purple card back is letting me down. Maybe, maybe, we, need, maybe we need to start snapping our fingers. Maybe I don't know. Maybe we do some kind of dance or something, like a like a rain dance or something to summon a legendary out of one of these packs. Dun, 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 dun. Ah. All right, nothing, nothing. Ooh, an epic! All right, all right, an epic, a rare, and three commons. Uh, Adventure Co Mercenary. I, does anyone actually use this card? So it's a seven six for only five mana, but it makes it so the rest of your minions cost three more to put out and. It doesn't have charge. It doesn't have. I don't see that, see that being a good card. All right, let's check our rare. The ancestral spirit for the shaman. Uh, give a min or give a minion death rattle. Resummon this minion. Wow. All right, not too shabby. And our epic is going to be another blood knight. So now we've gotten two blood knights. That's pretty cool. Because epics are kind of hard to find, and getting two epics is even harder to find. Now that we've got two. Uh, to the same epic card. That's pretty good. Pretty good. I'm still waiting on a legendary. I'm in it for the legendaries. I'm in it for the goldies. What we got here? Nothing. A rare. A nothing. A nothing. Alright. 
And dun 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 a young priestess. Boo! Boo, young priestess. I'm gonna have to change my card back here. We only got three more packs before I change this card back. Then I put the purple away. Alright, so we get a uh rare. Common, 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 common. Ah, uh, Stormforge Axe. I'm not sure if I have that. I don't use a Shaman a whole lot, so I feel as though all these Shaman cards are really just kind of fill out my Shaman deck due to my lack of playing it. Um, Divine Favor for a Paladin. Draw cards and leave as many in your hand as your opponent. Huh. Alright, we got two more. Don't make me change this card back. It's going to happen. We got nothing, nothing, nothing. Rare. Two, okay, two rares and three commons. What do we got here? So we get Leopard Gnome, Scavenging Hyena, Ice Lance. Let's check our rares. We get a Violet Teacher and a Mortal Strike. I think I've got both of those. So Actually, I'm not sure if I had the Mortal Strike. I may have only had one Mortal Strike. I'm not sure. All right, this is the last pack of the purple card back if we don't get a Legendary. Look at the physics as it moves and sways back and forth. All right. Better be a legendary in here. Nothing. Rare. Nothing. Nothing. All right. The purple card wants to get changed. I see. I see. And we get a mana addict. This is for all classes. Whenever you cast a spell, gain plus two attack this turn. Huh. Well, that could be pretty helpful, I would guess, in a mage class of some sort. So what we're going to do, we're going to back. We're going to start. We're going to go to options. And we are changing our card back from Nox Ramas. Maybe we go to the rainbow. Should we go to the Black Temple? Should we go to Pandaria? Or should we go with the Classic? I'm going to go with the Classic. It's been a while since I ran with the Classic. So we're going to run Classic. Alright. I think I, I think I changed it. I hope I changed it right. I'm not sure. And if you're wondering how you get those card backs, by the way, before we open the pack, just in case you guys don't know. Uh, you get these for reaching rank 20 in the ranked leaderboards for each season. There's different seasons. You know, th you get this is like the original starting back. Then I think the first season or maybe the second season or some season. I forget which season it is. Uh, if you completed that, if you reached rank 20 in that season, which isn't hard to do. Uh, at the end of the season, you get a card back. So every season, you, we got a new card back. This is the most recent one. Uh, was the Nox Ramos one? The rainbow one looks pretty cool. I'm just gonna go with the original blue though, cause it's been it's been quite a long time. It's been quite a long time. So, all right, let's open this up. We got ten more packs. I want that legendary. I want it. I want it so freaking bad. All right, so we get a rare. Nothing. A nothing. A nothing. Come on, I hate packs like this. Another blood imp. I like the blood imp. It's an awesome card. And a master spell for the priest. Silence all enemy minions and draw a card. Wow. That could be really, really good against like a druid. All right, come on, we only got nine more packs. And nothing, 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 and a rare. Oh wait, golden common, a golden slam for the warrior, yay! I used slam in my deck and now it's gonna be golden, yay! That's awesome, I like when I have fancy golden cards. And now we get a light well for the priest as well, not too shabby. What do we have here? All right, so nothing, a rare, common, common, and all right, two rares and a common. We're gonna get a Gadgetson on Auctioneer, the card that just half breaks the Miracle Rogue deck. And <laughs> all right, <laughs> what are the chances of that? Apparently, pretty good, but uh, you wouldn't think they would be. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? All right, let's see. That's a rare. All right, so two rares and three commons. A uh, flame imp, a venture co mercenary. Oh, a golden void terror, which is gonna do real good in my death rattle deck. I'm gonna have to be sure to put that in. And another light wall for the priest. All right, I like when we get golden cards because they're pretty. Golden cards are pretty. Now, do a little dance. Make a little love. I don't think I've gotten any really golden golden uh, neutral cards, which is kind of depressing. Uh, an epic. All right, an epic and three commons. Naturalized, circle of healing, and the ice lance. Let's see our rare. It's going to be a shadow flame. Destroy a friendly minion, deal its damage to all enemy minions. So that could be pretty good. And we get a cable cabal. Cabal? I don't know. Cable Shadow Priest, which is a 4 or 5 card for 6 mana that uh, take control of an enemy minion that has 2 or less attack. Huh. 
Ha, ha, ha. That could be pretty powerful. Five more packs, boys. Five more packs. And possibly a girl or two out there. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Nothing. 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 And nothing. And a rare. Ah. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's going to be a crazed alchemist, which can be used in all classes to swap the attack and the health of a minion, which can be pretty beneficial depending on the minion. Now, for example, the Mugushan, I think he's how you pronounce it, Warden. It's a 1-7 card with taunt. You use that. Now it's a 7-1 card. Of course, it's taunt, so it can be very helpful, but suddenly you have a card on the board that's got 7 attack, and you can do that by turn 4. Yeah, that's, that could be helpful, I guess. I'm calling upon thee. Spirits of the Hearthstone. See, as I make the pack go back and forth really, really fast. Come on. Come on. Rare. Nothing. 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 <sighs> Why are they taunting me this way? Come on. Come on. Another Savannah High main. Well, that would make some good dust, I guess. We've only got three more. Three more. Done. Nothing. 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 Rare. Ah, four commons and a rare. I always get the four commons and a rare. It's going to be a Murloc Tide Caller, which we've gotten like three of those so far. <laughs> two more. We've got two more chances. And you know what? I'm putting you back. I'm putting you back. Because this card back is not doing it for me. We need to go. We're going back to Rainbow. There. The Rainbow will do us good. Alright, perfect. Look at that rainbow back there. Rare. Nothing. An epic! Oh, look at that there. We get an epic our first time with the rainbow, you see? That's how it works out. We get Blade Fury for the Rogue. Destroy your weapon and deal its damage to all enemies. Alright, and our epic is going to be a Gladiator's Longbow, which I already have for the Hunter. Which I'm not sure if I had two of them, though. I could disenchant it. Then again, I don't, even use, I, w I don't even use two of them in my deck regardless. I could disenchant it regardless. And eh, we'll see. We'll see. We are down to our final pack, ladies and gentlemen, of this video. What do we have? I'm afraid to look. Let's slowly inch our mouse up this way so we don't get spoiled. All right, so we're going to go We're gonna go clockwise. We're going to start up here with nothing and nothing and nothing. And nothing. And a legend! What? No way! Wow, that worked out so perfectly. I'm like, alright, we're gonna go clockwise. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. You guys were all expecting it to just be a, you know, four commons and a rare. Four commons and a legendary, suckers! Alright, what we got? We got a Silver Moon Guardian. We got a Repentance. We have a Mirror Entity. We have a Defy's Ringleader and our new legendary is going to be Lore Walker Cho, ladies and gentlemen. A legendary I not yet have, so that's kind of cool. And it's his for all classes, so I can use him in any deck I want. Now, what Lore Walker Cho does is whenever a player casts a spell, put a copy of that spell into the other player's hand, which can be fun and useful, I guess. I don't see how it really is super useful. But it can definitely be super, super fun. You know, every time I play a spell, you know, the player I'm facing is also going to get that spell put in their hand whenever they cast a spell. It's going to be going into my hand as well. You know, it's uh, basically trading back and forth tons of spells, which can just cause make for such anarchy and interesting games. So we got Lord Walker Cho. We got two legendaries. The legendary card for the Paladin that I already forget the name of, as well as Lord Walker Cho. Which is very nice. Now let's go, as you should always do after you open up a couple packs of cards, is to head into your crafting. And now you can disenchant some cards. Now look at all these extra cards I have. I can disenchant them all, which is pretty nice. It, it basically takes all the cards that you have extras of, because you go, there's no point in having more than two of the same card, because you can put the card in any deck you want, and you can't have more than two of any one individual card in your deck, so it, you might as well disenchant it, right? We're able to disenchant all of our extra cards, which is going to give us 1,490 gold. Look at the 142. Wow, alright, so now we have 1,630 gold, and do you guys know what that means? Do you guys know what that means? Let's go into crafting here. Uh, I don't want to do golden, I guess. Um, let's go into neutral. Well, I guess, you see, I like King Mukla here. Here's a legendary. If I wanted King Mukla super badly, 
I can make him for 1600 gold right now. I can actually craft myself a legendary, but I'm actually going to consult some friends and whatnot. I'm not exactly sure uh, which legendary I would like to get. Maybe Millhouse Manastorm, Battlecry, your enemy, enemy spells cost zero next turn, which can be tough, but it's a two-mana card that's a 4-4, four, four, so that could be pretty useful. If you're wondering about golden cards, goodness gracious, let's show golden cards here, which I've got uh, some golden cards. But let's find ourselves a golden legendary. So those of you guys aren't really familiar with Hearthstone. See, you can make your cards, right? Let's say you want to make a golden card. You could do that. Uh, if you want to make a Golden King Mukla, it's going to cost you 3,200 gold, which is a lot, or dust, which is a ton of dust. And let's say you want to make a Golden Common. You know, a Golden Common itself is 400. You know, if I wanted to make just four common cards into Golden, it would take all 1,600 of my things, which I could have four more Golden cards, which could be nice, but I think that dust is, be well, be is way better spent on making a Legendary because you need legendaries. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed this Hearthstone video, opening up 40 packs of cards. I don't expect a video like this very often because it does cost $50 uh, to be able to open up 40 packs of cards, but it can be fun to do. I've seen people do it on YouTube. I've seen people do it in live streams and such. And it's actually fun to watch. You get to see what kind of cards they get and whatnot. And I was going to do it anyway, so I figured, hey, why not? I'll record it, I'll post it up here on YouTube, and you guys check it out if you guys want to. And hopefully you guys did enjoy it, because you're well over 25 minutes into the video at this point. But either way, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. And if you did, please be sure to leave a rating. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day.